Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. We're going to be using Mentos candy wrapper for this nail art design. Let's get started. So here I have my Mentos candies. They come in a blue foil color and in a fuchsia foil color. And the flavors are fruit and mint. The first thing I'm gonna do is open one of the sides with a pointed tip tool. Just being careful not to tear that foil. Followed by this, I'm going to begin opening all around the paper, exposing that beautiful blue foil color. And I'm just being very careful, going all the way around. It's not very difficult to peel off the paper wrapper. Next, I'm gonna open the wrapper and just dump the candy and cut off the opposite end. And here I have the foil I'm going to be using. Now here's the fuchsia one. On the opposite side, you're gonna find that it's a white color, and then the other side has the nice, vibrant foil color. I'm gonna get my pair of scissors, and I'm just gonna cut straight across a very thin strip. This is what I'm gonna be using to cut my little shapes. So here's my thin strip. Using my scissors, I'm going to be cutting at an angle because I want the triangle shapes. So I'm just going at an angle on the opposite sides, creating those little triangle shapes. Now, if you'd like square little shapes, all you have to do is just go straight across. You can even have a little more fun with these and you can cut out little hearts, but I just wanted this to be a very simple nail art design. But here you can see the little shapes, the little cutout shapes, and do the same thing with your blue foil. I'm gonna begin by painting a white French tip manicure, but remember you could use any color of your choice. It'll look really fun with any color. And the sides of my smile line, I want them to be deep. So I'm using a detail brush to deepen that smile line. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side as well. Next, I'm gonna be using this glitter polish by Icing, and it's called Call Me Glitzy. And I'm just gonna be applying this one on top of my white French tip manicure. You can use any glitter polish of your choice. This is gonna help the in-between spaces where we apply the foil, so it could look nice and shimmery. Now, while the glitter's still tacky, I'm gonna begin placing the foil cutouts. And you could see here the perfect little triangles, but you can go ahead and like I said, just have fun with it. Create any shapes you'd like. And just begin randomly applying the two colors, unless you wanna go just with one of the colors, which would look very nice as well. So I'm just applying both of the colors randomly all around the French manicure area. If you have short nails, you can just do this to your entire nail. Now I'm gonna be applying a thick consistency top coat. I'm using Sesh Feet, and the reason I'm using a thick consistency top coat is because I want the foils to be really sealed in so that there's absolutely no chance of lifting. So that's why I decided to use this thicker consistency top coat. And you could be done with your design there, but I decided to add a little more. I'm gonna be painting flowers, and this is the brush brand and size I'm gonna be using to paint my flowers, and this is what the tip looks like. So dipped in the color white, the very tip of my brush, I'm just using the very tip to just paint each of those flower petals. When painting any kind of flowers, the important thing is the positioning of each of your flower petals. I recommend to practice on a piece of paper before you bring it onto your nail. Here I'm painting a second flower, and it's also gonna be a five petal flower, but it's a little bit lower than the first one. Followed by this one, I'm gonna be painting a third flower on the opposite side of my French manicure, also a little bit lower than the one in the center. Now I'm gonna be adding top coat to the center of each of my flowers so that I can place a one millimeter size blue rhinestone. I alternated the colors depending on the nails. I used purple rhinestones and blue rhinestones. And that's it for this nail art design. Just apply your top coat sealing in your design. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this fun candy foil nail art design out. Be safe, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.